brother. Yes. Inflammation. Mm. Okay. Inflammation. <laughs> Isn't yeah. like, I'm getting goosebumps. Isn't, mm. because for me, inflammation, like look at what happened to you and you. Yeah. That's inflammation. Yeah. How do we like control the inflammation? Like do not panic when, when something is inflamed. How do we control it? Why do we take... Like I was taking a lot of ibuprofen. Yeah, and that shit didn't work. No. Uh, right now I was putting a lot of icing on all my like you know because I did yeah. Iron, I do Ironman so it happened <laughs> even like you know this so yeah. the ice is just kind of like helping with the pain, but the body doesn't have a. I don't want to put an answer on you. The body doesn't let it recover. So yep. walk to like when you have an inflammation. How do you, how do you deal with that? Mm-hmm. Do uh, do you panic? Don't panic? Like what, what's going on? Yeah. So one, let's even explain what inflammation is. Okay. So inflammation is your body's response, like release of cytokines. It's a communication process that is there to communicate some type of information, and some of that information is picked up by your nerves and it creates pain. Okay. So inflammation by itself is not pain. Inflammation is just inflammation. It's just communication cells and all of those things, okay? And inflammation that gets to the brain and the brain interprets that becomes pain, okay? But when we hurt yourself, when you like strain your muscle or something happens to you, there is this communication of the cells. You have astrocytes. You have all the cells that are coming together to try to heal the place, okay? And they create that pain signal for you to slow down because now... You don't want, we don't want you to keep injuring the shoulder, okay? You've already strained something in here. The body's saying, okay, I want to create a pain signal here so you can pause and get this things to heal. So in that healing cascade, the body has a potential to do that. But the thing is that pain kind of, it's not just this. It kind of affects everything else. The pain then, you can't sleep, you can't do all of those things. So what we want to do is we want to try to figure out a way to block the pain and also get the body to heal, Okay. So as a pain doctor, what I do is I try to block the pain and I also try to get the body to heal. In a lot of the conventional medicine approaches or before I even started my own practice, what I did was just blocking the pain and doing nothing to get the body to heal, okay? When I give you ibuprofen, Mm -hmm. it's just blocking the pain signal and in fact, it blocks some of the healing cascade, okay? So when you have inflammation, there's two pathways. There's something called the Cox pathway and Lux. I don't want to confuse people, but basically, there's two pathways. One of them is going to lead to pain one of them is going to lead to healing. When I give you ibuprofen, it blocks both, okay? So what we want to do is I want to just block the pain and leave this healing cascade to take place. And this is where we can use some supplementations, omega-3s, turmeric, all of those things that can be helpful. Sleep, super, super important. So when people are dealing with pain, this is when they have to double down on the healthy habit. This is not when you need to drink. This is not when you need to stress. This is when you need to rest, recover, and give your body the chance to heal. So there's so many things that we can do from a supplement standpoint, from uh, using modalities, shockwave therapy, other things that helps with regeneration, uh, making sure that you can use peptides. So there's all of these other options that allows the body to heal, but it's also important to get rid of pain right away because when pain hangs around for too long, then it becomes chronic pain, okay? What it is is you have this signal that's going to the brain, the brain, eventually the brain goes, okay, you have to breathe, you have to think, you have to eat, you have to communicate. So the brain creates a pathway that actually happens. That's how you develop chronic pain, mm-hmm. where your brain is now the one that's creating the pain. It's not even coming from here anymore. The brain is going, okay, I got to make sure that you remember not to move your knee. So I'm going to make this um, astrocyte and microglia in your brain to keep, it's called neuroinflammation, okay? So this neuroinflammation get turns on, and it's not just now the inflammation. Now you have neuroinflammation, inflammation within the spinal cord and the brain that's perpetuating the pain. So it's really important to get rid of the pain right away. Strengthen muscles, biomechanics, physical therapy, any of those things, and then use modalities that helps you to heal, which is where the cellular medicine, peptides, and other things, nutrition, uh, all of those things can help. So those have to be put in place.